engineer and today I'm not going to cover a new topic but the existing topic because I've uploaded a video in YouTube channel that uh, says about the killing the work process and identification of the work process using the DP mod. So there was one new there is one user his name is Al-Suman. So he said uh, I'm giving the wrong information. So just to give a clarification on that. So he said that you cannot kill a work process application work process from root. You should always go to the SIGDM from there only you can kill the process. And for me, this is absolutely wrong. You can kill either from SIDRDM or you can also kill from the root because root user is the master user that has all the privilege. Sometimes your kill command never works from SIDRDM, so you need to use root. But I always use root, there is no issue. So, just to show that if it is possible or not, I'll just show you quickly in the system and that will answer all of you if you have the query regarding. And my request is if you are writing something at least get your facts validated as well so now i'm just logging to the server so i'll just run a job i'll just create any particular job i'll just take this sap underscore all so i'll just schedule a background job here i just need to specify okay so just select on this one and i just schedule it a job perfect i'll do this immediately and just save it so now continue this transport request security is fine so i'll just it's mine it's done so let me check what is the work process which is assigned to my current job which is i just now i have released in the system okay which is i have scheduled so you can just go and this is your client export which the job is so if you kill the uh, future you want to kill this process so you just go to the job details from there you can find the work process id okay this is your 9406 this is your process id so what i'm going to do i'm just going to the login to the server so now what i'm going to do i'm just i'm in a root user guys i'm not in sid adm i'll just try to search the work process right here okay ps if and ef grip 9406 you can see the work process here right so this is the work process which is assigned because if you check this work process 9406 is the work process which does this which is importing the job right now at this moment okay so which is doing the job the job is running and the process id is here if you want to still cross check you can also check from sm50 you don't need to go to the DP mount all the time if your system is accessible. If in case your system is accessible, you are not having any issue, you shouldn't do that. What's the point in doing it? You can see this one. This is 9406. So now coming back to your just let me go here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kill the work process. So I'll just do the kill the work process, kill hyphen 9. I just give the 9406 correct so when I use this 909406 and kill the work process now let me just check it you cannot see the process you can go and validate in the application as well this work process is no more there and if you want to see the job status that is cancelled so you can cancel the work process also from root user also from SIDADM there is no mandatory rule that you have to only kill from SID ADM because a lot of companies because of the security policies they don't allow the root user to all the people that is the reason you can see the job is cancelled that is the reason we are not using the root user all of the time but because your application is installed on the host so in the server and server having some OS so if you are going to list out all the process ID you will see suppose you just want to see the process ID PS hyphen EF grid you can just run it like that you will not only see the root processes you will see the SIDDM or SID because it's my database all this process you will see I hope it is clear and don't give me the wrong information guys whenever I put a content I do a lot of research then I share the content and some people you know like particularly that Ansuman does not others others have appreciated it so I hope you got the answer and next time when you comment on something, please cross check your facts.
so thank you for watching the video guys and if you are uh, looking for max db administration training you can connect with our team and next month we are starting the migration training or still anybody looking for sap basis and hana training you can also contact the batch is just started uh, two days back we have committed we have completed two sessions so thank you so much for watching the video have a great day